also on your block this weekend in Royal Oak for the premiere of the film titled Selling Superman, all thanks to a native filmmaker. So, Chris, you mentioned Detroit hustles harder from the streets to the stage. We really do it all. Well, some of us do it all, and Adam was one of those, the creative mind behind Selling Superman. Thanks for coming in this morning. My pleasure. Good to be here, Chris. All right, so give us a little synopsis about yeah. Selling Superman. Yeah, there's a 40-year family secret, a uh, hidden comic book collection. I mean, the whole family had to keep it quiet. When they unravel it, there's a Superman in there worth probably three to four million dollars and 300,000 comics, and it just unravel. It's unboxing a whole family portrait, a whole story. Yeah, you mentioned 300,000 comics, so right off the bat, people are like, "Oh, it's a documentary about comic books," but that's really only part of it because there is a lot of yeah. family and tormented family aspects to this. Yeah, that's the hook that gets you in, and and, and you want to see what happens with that. But it unravels. You you meet the aunt, you meet the mom, the brother, and. Yeah, everyone's dealing with a little bit of the effects of a family trauma. And his father did have Asperger's and didn't show a lot of love and, and emotion. But um, you, you kind of get to see how that plays out and how it affects the family. So as a documentary filmmaker, what made you interested in telling the story? Yeah, at first, the idea of value. How could a comic book be worth $3 million, $4 million? That is amazing. Yeah, how'd yeah. that happen? And, and, you know, the movies and all in the comic book industry. And then as I got to know Darren again, because we knew each other in high school, uh, and his family again, I started just to see how deep the, the family story was. And to me, the inner world's important. What we value, how we value ourselves, I think that's a, a superpower. So were you interested in comics or the comic book world at all before this? Not, not so much comics. Of course, you know, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, okay. the, the general. The general loves, uh, but no, so I got to learn a lot about comics and that's, I think my point of view helps the general audience member enter into the underbelly of comic books. So you've made a number of documentaries. How is this one different from ones you have done in the past? Oh my, well, sometimes I'm on motorcycles in the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe not as adventurous, but there's always a pilgrimage and we got to go through a pilgrimage with Darren. It wasn't the easiest thing to make. So yeah, different in being a personal story, a friend's story, and a family story. I was going to ask, because yeah. you had the personal connection to Darren, yeah. were there some times you had to really think about how you wanted to tell the story, or were you just like, okay, I'm going to let the story tell itself? Yeah, there's an element of that always. You know, the universe throws in little things. You'll see in episode three some things we didn't think would happen, happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, Darren trusted me as a filmmaker, okay. and of course I wanted to do justice by his story. Uh, but you're, you're watching to see what happens, but you also know what you want to focus on. I'm not looking to exploit somebody. I want to, I want to tell the, the power and the authenticity of, of these people, these friends of mine. Yeah, and amazing to think the collection, 300,000 comics, yeah. that side of things is absolutely yeah. amazing. Just the storage alone. Tell us about the yes. event that is happening tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, on Saturday night. On oh, Saturday. At the Royal Oak Imagine Theater. Uh, all four episodes, intermission with food, you get to meet the cast. Uh, so a pretty unique event. Uh, 6 p.m. at the Royal Oak Imagine. And there's a Q&A session as well? Q&A after as well, intermission with food. So pretty cool event. And then on, on Monday, we're also going to be on Apple and Amazon for video on demand. All right. That yeah. sounds great. Adam, thanks a lot for dropping by this My morning. My pleasure, Chris. It sounds like a fantastic doc. Can't wait to see what that's all about.